we're going to be exploring the world of fossil vitra or glass fossils. We're going to be using two different techniques to achieve these looks and we're going to be using actual leaves or fossils. I'll be making this candy dish and some coasters in this project. So let's get started. Here I've dried and pressed an array of leaves. I did quite a variety and different, uh, different types of leaves in different sizes. The first technique, we're going to cover the leaf in frit powder. For the second technique, we're going to cover the leaf in mica. The concept for this design came from just the maple leaf. So I grew up in Canada, so I have a great love for Canada. And inspired by these beautiful maple leaves that I picked, I'm going to make um, kind of a candy dish. So the, the rough concept, I, I as you can see, I picked different types of uh, maple leaves in different sizes. So I have two pieces of red transparent that are two by five, one piece that is of tecta that is five by five, and it will all be capped with another piece of tecta that is five by nine, and it'll make a nice little candy dish. Now in this clear space, we're going to be covering these leaves in red frit powder and arranging them around and arranging them in this space. As we cover the leaves with frit, we're going to place them directly on the kiln shelf. And I'll show you what I did. So on my kiln shelf, <clears throat> I have a piece of fiber paper. And you'll see fiber paper has two, um, two sides. One side is less textured and one side is more textured. And I like to use the less textured side. So I cut the piece of fiber paper a little bigger than my final piece of glass. So there's about a quarter of an inch each side. And then I traced where the area in which I will be placing my leaves because I'll be placing my leaves here and then the glass on top. And I don't want to be moving this around too much. So I wanted to designate the area where my leaves will go. In order to apply frit onto the leaf, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at which side is the veining more elevated. And for me, it's this, this side of the leaf. And so I'm going to want to put this side facing up and I'll put the frit powder on top. By doing so, the detail of the veining will become more obvious uh, once the piece is done firing. So we're going to start out by taking a brush and our trusty gel. And applying the gel right onto the leaf all over. This will ensure that our frit will adhere to the leaf. And then I'm going to be placing it on top of this little cup. Look at my medium sifter. 
I'll put my mask on because I don't want to be inhaling any frit powders and have it end up in my lungs. And I'll sift the frit onto the leaf. Gently remove the leaf and place it on the fiber paper. Now we're going to cap the, the leaves with our clear piece of pickup, making sure that we've cleaned off the piece before. Putting my red stripes. And capping the whole piece with another piece of tape. And this will go into the kiln for a full fuse. The reason why I put both pieces of glass on top of the leaves, <clears throat> and I don't put the leaves between the pieces of glass, is because it's going to create a lot of space between the glass, and it's going to create a lot, a lot of bubbling especially if the leaves are not completely dry and still have some humidity in them that will create a lot of issues and will create huge bubbles and your piece is just not going to come out right for the second technique we're going to be using mica for this i'm going to be making a set of four coasters that are each going to have a different leaf design inside and a different color of clear glass we're not of transparent glass we're not just going to use clear glass on this so mica gives a nice shimmer it's a it's a metal so we'll give our piece a nice shimmer so to start i like to use this product with mica it's a stamping pad so this is sticky sticky stuff so the, the leaf I'm going to use for this one is an oak leaf. And I'll see which side has the vein most veining. It's going to be this side. So I'm going to lightly tap my leaf onto the sticky pad so that it can cover it. And this will help the mica adhere to the leaf. This is the mica I'm using. It's a pearlescent gold pearl. So it's a golden kind of shimmery color. And I'm using just a, this is just a makeup brush. So put a bit of mica, tap it. And just tap it onto the leaf and you can be pretty generous make sure you get the whole leaf then again on my fiber paper I'll put the leaf and unlike the um, the frit this doesn't just flow everywhere though the powder doesn't just flow everywhere it just sticks on the leaf so I could do it on the fiber paper and then move that over to the kiln then I'm covering it with for this one it's going to be a peacock 
green. And then cap it with a piece of clear tech duck. So I have this one. I have another maple leaf. And I'll also be doing one with uh, a mulberry tree leaf. And I like these leaves because the veining is very, very textured and then for the fourth it's going to be a set of four coasters and then the fourth one will be an ivy leaf so i'll put these in the kiln for a full fuse the coasters will just need one fuse because they need to stay flat so we're not going to be slumping them the dish will require a second uh, firing so we can slump it into a dish And this one is perhaps my favorite one. This is the one we made with the mica. And you'll see the leaf has completely disintegrated. And look at this beautiful shimmer. This piece will need a lot of cleaning. Just be careful with the mica. Uh, when you clean it, some of the mica will come off if it hasn't fused in because it was maybe too much mica and this one because we used fiber paper the thick fiber paper it created these sharp ends so we're going to just grind the ends of it the corners this one this is the same see it's not as visible as the other one because this one has a a lighter color on the surface but it still came out beautifully and again I'm going to make two more of these to make a set of four coasters finally this is our O Canada piece kind of stuck to the fiber paper little cleaning and it will be ready to slump this one also has some sharp edges so I'll grind those down before I slump it and here on this side the clear kind of extended over the the color the clear red so I'll grind it down straight so whatever I'm talking about grinding or sanding or whatnot, that's what a lot of people will refer to that as cold working. So I will cold work these, these corners, these edges, before I put it down for a slump. So here's the piece all clean. <clears throat> and you've, you see I've squared up this side and no more sharp edges. And I'll put it in this. This is the Square Slumper A from Bullseye. And we'll take it to a slump. So this is our candy dish out of the kiln, nicely slumped. So there's a bit of haziness around the leaves after we were done with the fusing. This is because the leaves that I used were fresh leaves and still had a bit of humidity and shrunk during the firing process. See, in, in this dish that I had previously made, there was barely any hazing. And with this, the difference between, so you'll see in, in this dish here, the veining is a lot more prevalent than it is here. And the difference between these two is that the leaves that I used here were early spring leaves. So they were thin baby leaves, if you will, that I dried and then used. Whereas for this one, these were fall leaves that I used. So they were much thicker, they were already dry. So 
in the future, I would recommend using doing this project more in the fall than in the spring. I had originally planned on doing it in the fall and I had made this dish in the fall, fall colors as you can see, but I never got around to finishing it. As for our coasters, I had made this one and this one, but then I kind of changed my mind with the direction of this project because with this slightly darker transparent glass, you can't really see the mica through it. Uh, on camera, you can actually see it more than you can in in real life, if you will. But the veining the, is and the detail in this is absolutely great. So I like the color combination of this light lavender and the golden shimmer mica. So I ended up creating a, a set, a set of coasters using that color scheme. So I made this one. So I use different leaves for each one. And I used, I made the, this checkerboard pattern because I wouldn't have had enough to make four lavender colored um, coasters. So I, I made it this way so I could have four and they would be matching and they would be a set and these would be sold together as a set. So these are very fun to make. I really, really enjoyed making them. Look at the detail on this uh, ivy leaf. Um, and they're quick. So if you have, if you do a lot of shows and you need quick inventory to do like craft fairs and things like that, these are quick projects to make and you could just bundle uh, packs of four and sell them that way. So I hope you enjoyed this project and if you did, please give it a like and if you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I upload as often as I can um, and I try to come up with different projects that showcase different techniques. I'll leave you with a few pictures. See you next time.